Hello there. On the Faradale creation blog, which I will link down below in the description, there is a full detail of everything you're going to need in order to make this particular um, placemat. So all the sizes are on there of everything you need to cut for making this one placemat. So then you can come back here and you can watch the video on how to do it and you go over there and you can print off the instructions so you can follow along. And just so you know the finished size of this placemat is 19 and a half inches across by 14 inches in height so that's how big I made mine you can make yours slightly smaller by cinching it in a little and let's make this placemat in last week's video I showed you how to make this particular quilt block it is an hourglass quilt block I have the video on that and I have the written instructions on this as well so you can go over to the blog and have a look how to make that this is basically a four and a half finished hourglass quilt block so if you know how to make them already that is exactly what you're going to need for this particular tutorial on this placemat that we're going to call an hourglass placemat maybe I don't know what we're going to call it it's a placemat tutorial so these are the colours that I chose to do my particular placemat. So the first row, you are going to need this four and a half inch square, four and a half inch hourglass block and a four and a half inch square. You basically do whatever size you want. This is the size that I decided to go with. So you're going to make sure that your hourglass is facing up. So it's going up and down um, this prominent color i'm going to do it green and it's best to do a an hourglass quilt block in a contrasting color because if you did it just like green and then another similar green it just wouldn't make sense really like it needs to be something highly contrast to stand out so we are going to sew these together you're going to take this one and you're going to fold it over and it's going to go right sides together and you're going to stitch all the way down here and then you're going to stitch the other section together i'm not paid nor sponsored to create this video i used the baby Lux soprano sewing machine in my sewing machine i will use a 9014 sewing machine needle microtex in the top of the machine i will use a polyester thread typically a gutterman and also um, bobbin thread in my bobbin and just a regular straight stitch the second row that we are going to do is going to be this and you're going to have the pin wheels the pump pin wheels going the other way so this is going left to right on the green and before we had it going up and down now we're having it going left to right so it's this one this one and this one we're going to sew all of these ones together and now this one is just a repeat of the first one that we did so we're just going to sew this this and this making sure that the prominent um, hourglass block is going up and down now we have something that looks like this and we need to sew these together so you need to sew them together here and you need to sew them together here just make sure that you match the seams nest the seams at these points at these points just to make sure it's straight so this is what it looks like so far and now i'm going to put a border all the way around this particular block that will help to widen it up and make it a little bit higher as well so if you just want to make it slightly bigger or you you don't want it to be this big at all then just skip putting the border on you don't have to put it on it's up to you so what i'll basically do is i'll do one side first so i do my left and my right side and then i'll go ahead and put the top and the bottom on these two sections on the outside are just there just to widen out the placemat. You could just stop there if you wanted a square placemat. I want a rectangle placemat. So what I'm going to do here to break up this green and to introduce some more of this turquoise colour, I'm just going to fold this in half and I am going to cut it in half. 
So I have four pieces in fairy. So I've got two on this side and two on this side. And I'm going to introduce that piece, which is one and a half inches height. So I'm going to sew this across here. And it doesn't matter if it's too wide because we can cut it down later. So I'm going to attach this to the green section. And all we do now is open this out and press it and I'm just going to cut this excess off here and then I'm going to attach the other side right there right sides together and sew across then you are just going to join these on right sides together so you're just going to get your fabric turn it around right sides together and attach it to the other side just so this is parallel in the middle so I've created a quilt sandwich and that is the top of the actual placemat wedged between some quilting batting and the quilt backing so we're going to do a very simple design of free motion quilting so I'm going to drop my feed dogs I'm going to change that foot over and do some free motion quilts on top of this and then that will keep everybody together so when we do wash this and it gets dirty it won't come apart and it's all together so I'm going to free motion quilt this I have a ton of videos on my channel showing you how to free motion quilt so I won't show you that in this particular video but please go on to my YouTube channel and there's a whole collection of videos on there I've got over 500 videos on my channel now so don't forget to subscribe once these sections are quilted, you can then take away the excess here with a rotary cutter. So in the next video, you see that I'll get rudely interrupted while I'm trying to explain this next step. So I'm going to try and say it a bit more seriously. I kept the other part in just for a bit of a laugh. So now what you need to do is just um, add the binding on. I generally do a two and a quarter inch binding um i think there's about 80 inches you'll end up with some excess um but then you will just attach the binding on at this point and you will have a finished place mat and once you've done that you can simply just add the binding on and you're all done so that is making one of the placemats and my cat is <laughs> just gonna sit on it <laughs> It could be a place <laughs> so it could just be a, a bed for your cats. <laughs> hey, Gatsby. I hope you've enjoyed this video just as much as my cat likes lying on it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, I do have them set of written instructions for you to watch along with this. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss another video of me and my cat. Goodbye.